So your engine's overheating or it's running hotter than it should. Is that an indicator that your water pump is starting to fail inside the engine? Well, it's just helpful to understand how the car's coolant system actually works. And by understanding that, you can start to eliminate some of the possible causes. And in this video, we're just going to discuss the main reasons why your car is running slightly hotter than normal. So looking at your temperature gauge in your car, it should, generally speaking, depending on your model, be around about the halfway mark. That is the normal operating temperature. So anything below that, you can assume that the the engine is warming up to operating temperature and anything over that may indicate there is a problem where the heat is starting to run away and the engine cooling system can no longer cope with that heat and dissipate it sufficiently. At that point you really need to start diagnosing the problem because if the temperature gets too excessively hot you're going to have lots of other problems creeping up on you. A car operates at a set temperature. That optimum temperature has been set by the manufacturers. It prolongs the life of the car. It improves the efficiency or the fuel economy you get from the car. And everything's just been designed with those operating parameters in mind. So when the car is outside of that, you start to run up extra bills. Your car is not as economical. The wear and tear may also accelerate on your engine. So within the cooling circuit in most modern engines, You've got an external radiator where coolant is pumped through the engine and round this radiator. Now, while the engine is warming up, there is generally a thermostat, a little thermostatic valve that stops that flow through the radiator just to allow the engine temperature to get up to normal. If the engine temperature is going above what you would expect, it could well, and it's most likely down to the thermostat not opening soon enough or some other problem where the thermostat flow is incorrect. So it's just restricting the amount of water that gets through that radiator and cools the engine down. Also, bad maintenance or using the wrong coolant can also create problems with the engine overheating. But I'm going to assume that we've all been fairly good. We've maintained the car properly. We've used the correct coolant and the levels have all been top up to the correct levels and there's also no air bubbles in the system. So if you're fairly comfortable with car maintenance, a good place to start is just removing the thermostat. By submerging the thermostat in hot water, you will see whether it is open or closed. If that thermostat seems to be operating correctly and opening at the correct temperature and opening fully, you've probably got a problem with your water pump. So modern cars have fairly complex cooling systems. Some have mechanical water pumps, which are generally driven by a belt. There's a little plastic impeller inside the engine and creates a flow of current around the engine block and through the radiator. Others have got complex electric water pump systems where the flow rate is variable depending on the engine temperature. And some cars have got very complex multi circuits for cooling different parts of the engine itself as well. But you may well get an engine error code. The P0217 indicates the engine is running hotter than the manufacturer would expect. And that may also flag up some kind of warning light on the dashboard. The engine check light may appear, but that doesn't give you very much of an indication as to what the cause of the problem is. Just the symptom is the engine is running too hot. So on the water pump itself, the plastic impellers can break off. The channels around the cooling system can also start to block up. You may even get leaks coming from the housing of the water pump itself. So if you notice those leaks or you notice a ticking noise or some kind of strange noise coming from the water pump area of the car, it could well indicate there is a problem with the water pump. The water pump is really something you should change at the same time you get the belt changed on the engine as well. And you can get better quality water pump units. Some of them are available with metal impellers. They last a lot longer. Metal can still fail. You can still have problems and metal can still deteriorate, but they do tend to outlast the very cheap plastic ones. And please avoid buying the really cheap plastic ones because they will generally fail after about 20 to 30,000 miles. So they'll get you out of the hole you're in right now, but you're going to have many other maintenance costs cropping up through the life of the car that you could otherwise have avoided just by buying a good quality unit. So most people we speak to recommend using the manufacturer replacement ones, the official manufacturer replacement ones. But there are a lot of good quality 
aftermarket ones around that you can get. In some engines, the water pump is fairly easy to remove. In others, it's extremely complex. You almost have to dismantle the whole engine and go in through the exhaust to get to some of these water pumps. I don't know why they design engines like that, but if you're lucky and you've got an engine where the water pump is fairly visible, maybe you just have to take an external cover off and slacken off the timing chain, pull out the water pump, you can actually inspect it and see if there is a problem in there. And that'll also give you an impression as to what the internal state of the engine is like is there a lot of corrosion is there a lot of gunk building up on those cooling channels so don't skimp if you notice a problem with your car temperature starting to climb above normal do investigate that and get it sorted this is a classic case of one of those things you find early on and solve it will prevent you from having expensive repair bills further down the line as the problem just grows and escalates into a much bigger issue. So I hope that's cleared it up. Please boot the like button if you found this video useful. I've lined this video up for you that you should find interesting and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so because we'd hate you to miss out on all the content that we're pushing out. Thanks for watching. See you in this next video.